Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and by the end of today's episode we will be able to, to tune up our vehicles. So right now it's a very basic setup, just the key event which allows us to change, go between the bumpers that we have. So I have two models, uh, one has the bottom part, the other one doesn't have. The same goes for the rear end, very similar, slight changes, you can have as many as you like and each time you, you push a key it's gonna go to the next in the list. And also for the uh, rear spoiler as well. So some small changes, but yeah, those are gonna go a long way, so let's get started. So today's episode is going to be quite similar to the one from last week when we spoke about the wheels. So now we can change the wheels and in today's episode uh, we will be doing some very very similar stuff. Um, but well we need a bunch of different functions for that. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to only use one uh, event which will then allow me to change the active indexes because as of right now we have the active wheel index so basically which is our current wheel uh, that we are using from our database and we will need the same thing for all the other ones as well. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and real quick create ourselves a enum to make life a little bit easier and I'm gonna call this e body parts. Let's pop this open and let's add a bunch of entries. So first we have the front bumper, then we will have a rear bumper, and then I also had the spoiler, and I believe those are all the tuning parts I have. I think I only have three of those. So yeah, front, rear, and spoiler. So those are all the ones that I have. And also I'm gonna add the wheels to this as well. So I have four pieces that I'm able to change on my vehicle. So now, what I will do is, so I have this server event, which is setting us the index for our changeable part. And for this, I'm just going to create a new variable input and I'm just gonna call this body part. And then this one is going to be our body parts enum that we just created. And this is going to allow us to create a switch and change a different index based on this entry. Now also I will rename the input for this, this is just going to be called simply active index and that's it. Now I'm going to disconnect this bad boy and let's do a switch based on our body part. There we go, we got that. So now we can set our active wheel index to come from the wheels entry. And now what I'm going to do is make three more of these. Uh, technically we could use an array as well, uh, but um, I usually prefer to first create a multiple entries like this and then once I'm done with this whole thing when the system is pretty much completed uh, then I start to optimize things and start putting those together so I'm not gonna do that right now because later I plan on adding another vehicle and having uh, be, be, having it be customizable as well uh, but obviously for different vehicles we will have different parts and then the uh, optimization might be a little bit different and right now um, I, I basically don't know what exactly I'm going to be doing in the future so for now I'll just keep it like this so now we have the active spoiler active spoiler uh, index and then we have the active F bumper index and the active R, R bumper index. So all of these variables need to be replicated and then we can set those up. So we have the spoiler index, we have the front bumper index and we have the rear bumper index. There we go. So make sure to connect the active index and I'm going to connect mine like so. I'm just going to reroute this like so and all of them have the same input value. So this is how my server event will look like when we are setting up the index and it's gonna work perfectly fine. But now for the mouse wheel, what you gotta do is replace the body part to the wheels so that you are changing the active index for the wheels. There we go. So we have that all set up. So this is all nice and good. And now we gotta set up the array for our actual parts. So I already have the wheels database that is using a static mesh and all the other pieces of my vehicle are also static meshes. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to call this F bumper DB 
and then I'm gonna have the R bumper so as in rear bumper database and I will have the spoiler Spoil, uh, spoiler DB here we go let's compile this it has already some entries because I duplicated the one that I already had so what I'm simply gonna do is remove all the entries from these guys there we go now let's start adding the new one so we will need two of these and we have a bumper so this is the front bumper so we have the regular front bumper and then we have the bumper two so uh, actually that one is the tuning one okay so now let's go ahead let's add some more so we have the bumper rear and we have the bumper rear number two there we go and then I will have the spoilers so we have the spoiler regular one and then we have the spoiler two so real quick since i'm using actually the model that is uh, bumper number two because this is the one that i modified i i made it uh, a little bit simpler from the complex model that it was before what i'm going to do is actually check these body parts so this i definitely know that this is the uh the bumper uh, this one is the bumper two but what i'm curious about is the spoiler and this is this is the regular spoiler okay so what I will do then is the spoilers active index is gonna say it's there zero but the bumper ones are gonna go to one because this exact model that is on the vehicle right now is actually in the uh, arrays index number one there we go so we got those and now everything else is gonna be somewhat similar uh, so first let's work with this bit right here that we have to change the indexes so what I'm actually going to do is again we will not have any widgets right now the widgets are gonna come in the future uh, when we are done with this bit uh, so that we, basically we are setting up the main functionality right now and then we will run these same events from the from the widget basically but just to save time right now this is going to be a keyboard key one for the front bumper and then we're going to have another one, keyboard key 2 event for the rear bumper and key keyboard key number 3 for the spoiler. Now at this point you might be wondering how we are going to do this because here we have up and down and we are clamping. But with these keys I'm just going to create like a rotation so uh, it's going to automatically detect how many instances are there in the database. And then when we hit the last one, the next click is going to bring it back to the first one. And that is how it's going to work uh, when we have the widget with the moving back and forward uh, buttons. So first, let's work on let's work on the front bumper first. So let's get that. And the first thing that we want to do is get the length of this array so that we know how many instances are there and the next thing so let me actually move these aside the next thing that we need is to know the actual current active index for for the front bumper and i'm going to do the array's length minus one and i'm going to check if this value is equal to our active uh, front bumper index because if it is that means that we are at the last entry of our array and then we should go back to the first one so I'm gonna do an if on the pressed like so and then uh, if that is true if we are on the last entry then I'm, all I'm simply just going to do is run our server change wheel index so we're gonna run server change uh, change wheel index and actually I should change, rename this to server change server change part index at this point so we have the server change part index and we are going to change the index to zero for our front bumper now if this is false then instead for the active index we want to get our current active index and we want to do a plus one on this like so there we go so now this is going to nicely loop uh, loop around the way it should so now we need the same thing so all I'm gonna do is just simply copy this bit I'm gonna replace actually I could have just deleted these events set this to keyboard key event number two and now just simply replace the uh, the parts so we have rear bumper instead rear bumper instead over here and then instead of using the front bumper database we're going to use the rear bumper 
and instead of the active front bumper we're going to use the active rear bumper copy this once more for the spoiler keyboard key event number three changing this to a spoiler into a spoiler and then spoiler database and the active spoiler index there we go so now this is going to change indexes for us the next thing that we need to do is set up the actual events which are going to change the parts so let's go ahead let's create ourselves uh, let's see so actually this is the server event just changing the index for us so actually we could run it over here to be honest uh, so let's see whenever we change the index we could change the part as well so let's make some slight changes uh, so we have the server change wheel so I'm going to disconnect it from over here so it's no longer connected I'm actually going to disconnect it completely and move it aside because I will probably simply delete this so we have the change part index from which then we can run since this is a server event we can run then later the multicast event which is then changing our wheels now just to be safe by making these changes go ahead hit play and see if your wheels are still changing and you can see mine still seem to function the way they should and just to be safe let's go ahead and let's pop it open with a client as well Here we go. Okay, so everything seems to be functioning the way it should. And now we have this multicast event for our wheels. Now we need quite a similar thing for the uh, body parts as well, the rest of them. So let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a new custom event and let's call this multi change. Uh, let's start with the spoiler. Let's call this change spoiler. And I constantly forget a letter in this word. So multi change spoiler. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is to make life simpler, just drag in your spoiler. And then you can set the static mesh for this guy. Connect it like so. But I'm going to delete this target. And I'm just going to connect it like so. And also the mesh like so. And then I'm going to rename this to be the component and I'm gonna leave it be the new mesh and I'm gonna make sure that this event is a multicasted event uh, and just like I, I've mentioned in many other videos for the multicast events I prefer to pass along the values uh, from the server uh, because that way it always seems to be functioning way better and with less issues now the next thing is that actually this is somewhat of, of a bad name um, multi-change spoiler because essentially all three of these parts are the same it's a static mesh component so i'm just going to call this actually multi-change part instead because at this point what we can do is let's bring this aside a little bit from all three of these, we can run a multi-change part like this. So let me go ahead and copy a bunch of these. There we go. And I will probably move this aside even more since it's colliding with this bit, which I'm going to move up. There we go. And now what we can do with this is something very similar that we did over here so for the component this is the front bumper get the front bumper component then we have the rear bumper component and we have the spoiler component there we go let me adjust those and now we need the new meshes and again very similar to this one what we got to do is bring in the array we want to get a copy from this and we can use our index for our active front bumper and then plug that into the new mesh because essentially that is all that we need we need to return the active mesh that is being selected at this point and for the rest of them I'm actually going to be just lazy all I'm going to do is just copy this bit and replace with the rear bumper database and the rear bumper index paste this in once more and I'm going to use the spoiler database 
and I'm going to use the active spoiler index. Now, like I said, in the future, we are going to come back to this. We are going to optimize this. This whole thing is going to take even less space, uh, hopefully. Um, but right now, it's going to be the way it is. Uh, because I'm not quite sure exactly how it will end up at the very, very end of these series. But for now, there is not a lot of code. It's very small, at least I think. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hit play. So now let's test this whole thing out. So now at this point, if we hit one, it should be changing the front bumper for us. Here we go. So that seems to work. Key two should change the rear bumper for us which it looks like it does as well. And number three should change the spoiler for us, which it does as well. My changes for the spoilers obviously are very, very tiny. Uh, but yeah, those are the changes that I have. So let's go ahead. Let's drive up to this guy. Let's have a look at his vehicle. And we can see that he has a different bumper now for the front. And the rear one should be different as well. And that's exactly the case. So let's drive up. Let's try this as well. And we can see all the changes happening. So everything does seem to be functioning the way we should. And everybody else can see the changes happen live as well. So that's that was pretty, pretty quick and simple. Uh, small adjustments to this whole system. Everything seems to be just fine. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hope this was useful. By the way, to uh, the ones that have watched my videos for quite a while now, uh, you will know that I usually upload on Fridays and Saturdays. Tomorrow there isn't going to be a video. There is going to be a video on Monday uh, because, well, uh, I've been looking at the analytics for quite a while on my channel and usually the Saturday videos don't do that well, obviously because it's a weekend, people are away. Uh, so I've decided to change up my schedule. It's going to be from now on. It should be at least uh, on Fridays and uh, Mondays unless uh, the habit takes over and I accidentally upload something on some Saturday but the schedule is going to be Fridays and Mondays from now on so yeah uh, thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video and found this useful make sure to hit the subscribe if you haven't already uh, feel free to join my discord to ask for some help if you need any and yeah thank you for watching and I see you in the next one